Hey guys, Queen Cats here, and uh, it's a little bright out today, but I have to wear sunglasses, so I'll either be wearing dark sunglasses, uh, which I may have to change into because it's so bright in here, or these ones, which is what I usually wear when I go shopping or I'm inside or um, just inside the mall or somewhere, but my eyes are very sensitive to light and they always have been. They just seem a little more sensitive now because it's tomorrow will be two weeks since I've had my PRK surgery, also uh, called LASIK or laser. LASIK and PRK, I want to tell you a bit about the difference since this is my first real video back. Um, PRK means photorefractive keratectomy. And what that is basically is uh, it's less evasive than LASIK surgery. It is still done by a laser. And instead, they, they do the cornea directly on the eye. They laser it. Whereas um, LASIK, they actually, your eyeball is here. They cut a flap around your iris they lift it up and they laser it and they seal it back down and apparently that heals a lot faster you can see the next day and uh, most people choose that that's uh, it kind of freaks me out but some people have a, it does have a higher risk because sometimes you could rub your eye by accident because you're not supposed to touch your eyes and you can move the flap and they'll have to readjust it so that's pretty gross. So mine, I almost couldn't see for eight days. Like I could see, but it was as if I had a really minimal prescription and I was walking around without glasses on. So everything was blurry and fuzzy. And so basically I just sat like this all day. I'd have the TV on, I'd have dark, my dark, dark sunglasses on. The room was fairly dark and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll have, um, I put in a DVD of the Golden Girls because that makes me happy. And I've seen all the episodes, so I know what's going on. So I could close my eyes and still listen because for those of you who work five days a week or more on a full-time job and you're totally exhausted, you'll probably get the idea of being able to lay in a bed for eight days and close your eyes and have everything done for you. I, on the other hand, um, don't work five days a week. Uh, I have a very busy schedule, but I simply had a hard time just laying there because you can only sleep so much. And as day two goes by and day three and day four and day five and day six, and you're really soaking it because you can't do the dishes. I didn't, you know. Some people just get on with life, but you can't drive. And you can't, um, you can't drive, you can't uh, really go outside for very long. You're on a huge regime of steroid eye drops in your eyes for the first, um, the first couple of days. Actually, the, yeah, the first probably eight days, uh, I was on these eye drops and there was so many, my poor husband, he had to wake up every two hours and put these eye drops in my eyes and yeah, he, he was a lot of help. So if you have someone, cause you're going to probably need someone to help you, um, when you get this done. So what I was saying with the LASIK and the, and the PRK, the LASIK, you can almost pretty much see and get on back to life on day two. And PRK took about eight days for me to have like amazing vision. And I'm, I'm always probably going to say, why didn't I get it done five years earlier? Because that's when they could start doing my eyes. But, you know, you just think I've got one set of eyes. I've heard so many myths and they are myths. You can't not, you cannot go blind by getting LASIK or PRK unless you go into a back alley for, with some guy doing it on a folding table with a magnifying glass and a matchstick. You know what I mean? Uh, most surgeons are pretty good. There are, of course, good and bad in everything. My surgeon uh, has been doing this. He invented the um, eczema laser in 88 with a bunch of his colleagues, brought it to Canada, and uh, he has been doing it since then with hundreds of thousands of people. He's done it, too. His 
Um, because there, like I said, there can be something wrong with LASIK where the flap moves by scratching your eye or you do something silly and it opens. You know, you go swimming or something stupid and you're not supposed to. His success rate is, or should I say success? His success rate is extremely high. He has less than a 1%. He actually said it was a 0 point zero six percent of people coming back for a readjustment that's everybody in the 25 years or 23 years he's been doing it he fixes all the screw-ups on the whole west coast the day that I uh, got my eyes done there was a bunch of people getting them done and he only sees about five to seven people a day and then the the next day when I had to go in early in the morning for a checkup he had scheduled a guy for uh, from Houston who had come in to get a, a readjustment from a screw up. So basically he gets all the screw ups that were done shoddy or someone, you know, did something to their own eyes, but uh, usually who people who've not gone to a great surgeon, he usually gets the results because people send them to him. And it's out of their own pocket they're paying, you know, for him to do it, but um, I think a lot of places do do these things and uh, they kind of do a free general touch up because I've got uh, friends and my husband's got friends who have said they've had this done and it lasts seven years. Well, it should last your whole life and when you go to a chop shop, I'm sorry, you know, you, you can't shop around for bargains. I'm not going to get this done in seven years. I will never need to get this done again unless for some reason my corneas change and it's very highly it's very likely that they won't change and uh um the fact that someone had to get it done maybe for you know after seven years i don't know how that worked but my guy said i will never need glasses again if i do it would be a very light prescription and it would only be for reading like a pair of reading glasses like you people usually need when they get in their 40s or it will be um driving at night like because some people as you age and when you hit 40 your eyes start to age anyway and a lot of people need reading glasses and so that's just a fact of life but I've probably got a good 10 years before I even need any kind of glasses my eyesight at night is amazing my eyesight in the day is unbelievable I have had glasses since I was four years old and I've never been able to sit like I am in here and I can see trees outside. I've never been able to see the buds on the trees or the branches, the individual branches. Like I was legally blind before I had this operation done. Meaning if I didn't have my contacts on or my glasses on, I would need a white cane. I wouldn't be able to drive because I couldn't see the road. I was considered legally blind minus 10 in both eyes. Uh, I do have to wear sunglasses now for three months, so I'll probably end up changing these ones into my dark ones. I can't wear makeup on my eyes for two weeks, so two weeks is up tomorrow, but because I, I'm now on another regime of drops for three months, and it's uh, like four times a day for one drop and two times a day for one drop, and then I have to put lacquer lube, which is kind of like a little jelly, uh, at night and just to keep my eyes moist and uh, throughout the day I take Cellu-Visic or uh, Endura and those are like eye drops that are non-preservative and don't use Visine because it's full of preservatives. I used to use Visine and they said that's the worst thing for my eye and this is coming from an ophthalmologist who, has the, who is at the top of his game. Um, so yeah, just uh, read up on it if anybody's interested, or uh, send me send me uh, an email or not an email, you know, in the below bar. Just uh, not even in the below bar. I haven't done a video in a while. Um, in the um, in the comments, just leave me a comment and I'll answer your questions on it. I could talk and talk and talk forever, but it takes too long to upload these videos because I'm doing it on my camera this time. But uh, yeah, I highly recommend it don't shop around for price save an extra year to get the better doctor and your my physician went to this doctor my endodontist who's done my root canals has gone to this doctor friends um, like lawyers and doctors and their friends have all gone to this same surgeon so 
it's amazing. It's the greatest healing in the world being able to wake up and see. I don't know. It's better than it's better than anything. Anything, anything, anything. And those of you who have your sight and who've never had glasses, um, you know, sit back and see how really amazing your eyes are because I tell you, when you hit 40, I have friends that are in their 40s and they've got reading glasses. Now I can laugh at them. So, well, not laugh at them. I mean, they never really laughed at me for my glasses, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, you take care of your eyes, and you were lucky to ha not have to wear glasses for your first 40 years. So, peace, guys. Take care, and I will see you very soon with another video. Bye.